Hello YouTube, today I'll be making an overview of the Better Snap tool. So this is an application from the Mac App Store. Essentially this is an overview of how it works. As I got an external monitor, so I want to be able to snap things quickly and as you can see through the aspect ratio of the video, it's an ultra widescreen monitor. So we have separate different possibilities inside the general settings. So we can snap to the top left, to the left, to the bottom left, etc. So there's various different combinations and you can start it when you start up. So you can change the preview of the overlay so we can change it from being gray to something else full screen, bottom right, fall, etc. So let's just snap this here. So here we see the animation, how long the animation is, border color, and we can also disable the better snap tool. So restore all with no size if this is dragged away as you can see we do that however if you move this off it should after it updates to see it doesn't go back to its original size if we do this then once we go here and remove it let's do that again should update it will go back to its original position see which is a very nice feature and we can see here, don't res uh, resize if it was full screen, etc. This can remove the empty space between windows, leave a small gap above the dock, move windows, etc. And snapping recognition areas. So this is if you go like that, just a bit, not the whole way, it'll still snap. Keyboard shortcuts are my favorite part. So since I have a keyboard, what I do is I actually just do Windows key and four seven one and I shift it like that so I made a key for every single combination and then I also did keypad zero which maximizes it and moves it to the same monitor on the other screen this is a very nice feature that way I can quickly shift things from one monitor to the other without even using my mouse and losing it through the different screens it's just a huge advantage and you can also have the ability to cycle through the different options so this makes it really fast to work. I just get a window, say it's full screen, quickly snap it, open something else. So let's say I'm going to open uh, Minecraft. Quickly take Minecraft, snap it to a side of the screen. Easy, and it's quick. Snap it again. It's updated. Let's see the dictionary. Like that. Up, down, up, down sideways, full screen. So now we can quickly close these things and come back here. So these are the snap areas. You can customize your own snap areas. There's an introductory inter introductory video. So if you have custom applications with a specific aspect ratio, like Windows Live Messenger like that, you can have a snap so it goes directly there. Now one issue with the snap thing is if I want to snap it on the right side, I can't because it goes to my other monitor so I'm basically forced to do it over here of course it works but over here it goes onto my second monitor so that does not work properly and also do not show snap areas and several different options and here we see secondary clicks I can do something else separately and here we have a bet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Overall, I think this app is very much worth it. I use it consistently with the number pad because that's my favorite feature. And I can easily move things to my second monitor. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.